Hey Buckaroos, welcome back to the channel, Musicom Academy, where we teach you how to become a PD. Today we're going for starting points for pretty much every music format that exists. We'll give you the starting points of where you sort of should be looking for and how we got there and explain it and all that usual good stuff. We good to go? All right, let's hit that musical jingle. <laughs> For me, one of the hardest parts about doing a course like this is trying to always put myself back a lot of years to when I didn't really know very much and I had a million questions. How do you do this? How do you do that? What's that mean? I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know if I should ask or not ask and that type of stuff. And one of the questions that I thought would come up is, uh, especially especially if you're, if you're going into a format that you don't really know, so maybe you've been a jock at an AC station for five years and now you become a PD, but all of a sudden you're at a country station or you're at a top 40 radio station and you go like, what do you do here? What's normal? What, what, what's the typical way they're built? So what we're gonna do today is go through the musical formats that are out there, the major ones, and I'm gonna give you, these are typically what the A's would be, the rotations, the B's, and the C's. And I'm gonna go through a bunch of different markets from major, major radio stations. Now, here's the markets that we're gonna go through. Some of these markets, I'm gonna be taking a couple stations from them. Like Chicago, there's a couple stations. New York's got a couple stations. Um, Detroit's got a couple stations in here. And the other markets have just one, I'm picking off one radio station because they're the cream of the crop radio stations in their particular format. Okay, so you know, I don't want to just throw out anything. I want to throw out really good radio stations for you as a frame of reference. And that's basically what this is. These are the formats. These are the frame of references that you should be looking at and then alter your station accordingly or build your station accordingly. After I show you those formats, I'm then going to show you how I got the data uh, in one way. Um, and then I'm going to show you an easy way to get it that you don't have to pay for. It's, it's work but you don't have to pay for it and anybody can do it. No matter where you are in the world, it's pretty much free and it's some pretty good research data, okay, to help you build your radio station. So let's start with the first one. The first one is going to be a country radio station. This is a major country radio station. And basically the A category is, seems to be three songs, the Bs appear to be five songs, and then the C's appear to be an eight, you know, eight song category with a, maybe a smattering of some other songs in there. But essentially what they're playing is three, five, and eight. Overall, when you look at what they're playing overall during the week, they're playing 21 songs of which 12 of them are getting pounded. So 21 total currents are getting played in some fashion, but 12 of them really are the core of the radio station. So that's one country station. Let's go to a second country station. This one is a little bit different. This one's got five A's, seven B's, and it's got 10 C's. Now this radio station is definitely a bit wider. Well, if you look down at what they're playing, you know, um, what, you know, when I look through it, you can see that they're playing roughly about 30 currents, you know, during a typical day. But 16 is sort of the core of the radio station. Now let's go to an urban station. All right, this is an urban station, major market. They have three A's, five B's, and nine C's. Roughly, they're playing 23 overall current songs of which nine, just nine, are getting played over and over and over again. By the way, um, let me just point this out. When, when it says market rank, that's not the market that they're in. It's the rank of that particular station in the market. So for this urban station you know, that we're just showing you, they're seventh in the market that they're in. And speaking of rank, let me go to a number one radio station in their market. And this is a large, large market. This is one of the top five markets. This is a number one radio station. It is an urban AC. What they play roughly, I couldn't get it exact because their, their play numbers are so close and that's because they don't play a whole lot of current songs. Most of it is gold and recurrence of what the station plays. They have three A's and either five or seven B's. I couldn't quite tell. And that's it. That's pretty much all they play. Generally speaking, the amount of current songs that they play are 12 of which they play seven, you know, in the core of the radio station. So they're very much as an urban AC, you know, a urban gold station for the most part with a smattering of currents. And they're number one in the market. 
Next up, big station, big market. They're eighth in the market that they're in and their A's are somewhere between five or seven. It's hard to, to, to tell exactly. I think there may be seven and we're gonna go through this particular station a little bit later on. So the A's are roughly five or seven. The B's are roughly 11 or seven. Again, get, you know, because these things could be moving from categories. The numbers are so close, it's tough to tell which one they're actually in. And then um, the C category is somewhere between nine and 11. It's somewhere there. And being a CHR playing a lot of current music with a lot of different day parting and a lot of songs being played a lot at night, but none hardly in the daytime, same song. It's, it's difficult, unless you're right at the station looking at, their, looking at their music system, it's difficult to get an idea of what's actually going on. Um, one of the things that becomes really clear is when you look at their overall system, they're playing about 25 songs of which 11 of them are the core of the radio station. So 25 songs are playing in some fashion, 11 of them, are, are, they're the ones that are turning. Now, let's move to a different city, and this is a rhythmic CHR. The last one was a plain CHR Top 40, you know, mainstream. This one now is a rhythmic CHR. And for this one, there's three A's, for sure. I mean, that's an absolute. Then either three or four B's and five or six C's. Again, hard to tell which is which, uh, because they're so close. And I should tell you that they essentially play 13 songs as the total of currents, again, a lot of gold, um, 13 songs are played as the currents of which only six are actually turning with any speed, which is, um, you know, pretty, pretty small. Moving over to an AC radio station. This is the number one radio station in its market. It is a really large market. They play five A's, five B's, and three or four or five C's depending on the week. That's it. So roughly they play seven songs that are spinning and 13 songs over, you know, overall. The rest are non-currents in a typical hour. Now let's go to Hot AC. I'm gonna give you two Hot AC radio stations, two different markets. Five A's, five B's, seven C's, 13 songs overall, of which 10 is what they're actually spinning. You know, the other three are just kind of there. So basically they're playing 10 songs. Then for the second hot AC, there appears to be four A's, which is an odd number because usually you see in a category, a current category, an odd number as opposed to an even number because it, you know, of all the division things I went through before, but it appears to be four, six, and nine. And they're playing roughly 20 songs overall of which only nine are the ones that are actually getting pounded. Lastly, we're gonna go through two active rock radio stations in two different markets. And the first one has eight A's, six B's. That's a definitive, that's all there is. There's no ambiguity from, from that point on. And that's all they play. So basically they're playing 13 or 14 songs and that's it. And the second one looks like this, eight A's again, nine B's, that's it, nothing more. They have a little bit wider list. They play 17 currents of you know, sporadic play but 10 of them are the ones that are actually turning the most. So those are pretty much all of the current formats, you know, that are out there that play current music in any form, you know, active rock being um, the least amount because, you know, they're, they're turning pretty slowly and they don't have a whole lot of currents. Now, I guess the big question might be in your mind, how, how do you find this out? How do you know about this? I mean, I'm, you're, you know, you're giving me numbers, but I don't know where this is coming from. Well, part of these numbers are coming from media base. So I was looking at some media base for some of these stations and the markets. And I'm going to show you roughly what a media base run looks like. I'm not going to give you an exact one because I don't want to get into that. I don't know if there's copyright or any of that stuff. So I basically, I sort of made one up that's really close to what one would actually look like just for, you know, learning purposes. And then I'm going to skip that and I'm going to actually show you how you can do it yourself and you, you can do it for pretty much any radio station that gives information on the net, which most of them do if you go to their website. So we'll go through that too. This is for sure the easiest way to pick apart a, another station's music playlist or current playlist because this program logs every single radio station in the United States and Canada in all types of formats. You know, unless they're really you know, sort of an eclectic format like jazz, it doesn't do that. But if you want to know, like in this instance, what this, as you're seeing, this CHR radio station, not going to tell you which one, I blocked it out. 
This is exactly what they play in a one week period. Currents only, you can also see the recurrence. You can see them combined. You can see a 30 day period. It's a wonderful program, but it is costly and your group, your company or your single station may not be able to pay for it. Or you may be in a country where they don't even have it for your country, but you might want to go looking at US radio stations, you know, the big ones. Um, that you've heard of and you know what do they do because you want to get an idea of a starting point particularly for different types of formats this is really good if you all of a sudden become a PD of a format that you're not really familiar with all that much this can at least get you into the ballpark of you know what's what's appropriate what, as a starting point you want to actually do what a successful radio station is doing and that's what MediaBase it allows you to see. It allows you to see what successful radio stations are doing, and then get an idea of roughly what they're doing because you never get it exactly. And I think this is a good example of it. Then I'm going to go show you a free way of doing this. Again, not exact, but it'll get you close. So this is a very, very, very major radio station, the CHR, in a very, very, very large market. Let me just put it that way. I'm not going to tell you which one. And this is not all of the columns. You know, these are columns. That, this is in a spreadsheet, column A, B, C, D. There's a lot more columns to the normal report, and they go into way more exhaustive data. But this is really all you're sort of looking at, you know, at least to me, that matters. So as an example, for Chris Brown, in a seven-day period, they played this song 124 times. And they played Ariana Grande 34, 35. They played that 122 times. When you look down, you go like, wow, okay, these four songs, they're pounding, and then comes the rest. And for the most part, that's true, except that if you look a little deeper, see uh, AM Drive? Okay, AM Drive, Seacrest really is only playing these songs. To well, how many are there? Six. I guess you can make a case for this one here, this last one, the seventh song. But he's really only playing this deep because the Seacrest show plays less songs than other, other day parts. So you'd want to look at this and not exactly look at this number. You'd want to be saying, all right, well, maybe I should be looking at midday and afternoon drive because they're the more normal day parts for music and they go down farther. I mean, they're coming down to here. So what is this? This is 14 songs. This is the brunt of what's being played, 14 songs. You also see a little bit of uh, abnormalities if, if it were so like you look at this you go yeah afternoon drive is playing this 10 times nights is playing at 18 but mornings only played at two and midday in a seven day period didn't play this at all clearly this is day parted out of midday the, the station's not playing it so you sort of have to take that into consideration but just for me roughly off the top of my head I'm looking at this and going yeah they play 14 songs that's the brunt of what they're they're banging and the rest are in some other way something that they're dealing with in some fashion with different sort of rules but these are what are roughly playing the most and probably Seacrest doesn't get a chance to play these all that much although obviously for morning drive they're going down as far as you know as far as here they're going down 31 28 deep and if you know it's like I mean they're playing all these songs that's the end of the report but not very much one play two play you know and they're either in odd weird day parts you know or, or mostly at night really probably that's their break-in period uh, where they break in new songs they probably play them there and then they little by little move them up into the daytime that's just a guess on my part I'm not there but that's what I would assume that they're doing because that sounds rational and that's you know that's a good way of thinking and I would certainly you know think of that to do the same thing too and that's what you would do with a CHR so again this is what media base roughly looks like I didn't want to actually show you an actual media base you know there's copyright things and stuff like that but this is essentially what they look like okay so if you can't afford or your company doesn't have media base which is a wonderful tool it's an amazing tool so I just pulled up kiss FM you can do this with a ton of different stations depending on the way their websites work it may be in a different location or some stations just don't have this at all but most stations in some form have this so let me just scroll down the page of you know this is the kiss fm home page and obviously it's going to change every day for different things like kylie jenner's got a big deal going today tomorrow it'll be somebody else anyway coming down so here's what's playing right now it's a saturday morning it's 10:41 a.m and your power is playing ariana grande before that 
and levitating before that. Okay, so if you click this button, you're going to get a bigger page. Now, what do we got here? So 1041 down to 525, so five hours there. Great, okay. So one of the things that you can do, and I'm just going to show you roughly how you can do it, and then I'm going to jump jump ahead a lot. If you if you touched this, you know, if with your cursor, if you're kind of you know uh, not careful, you're going to go to the song, want you to play it, want you to buy it, want you to something. But if you just sort of stay around out on the outside edge and click down, okay, say so I'm clicked right now. It's not jumping to anywhere. But if I pull down, I start to select areas of the page. If I come coming down the page, I've got more songs selected. And I'll just go to here because I'm not going to touch the page. I'm just going to scroll. I'm going to grab the scroll bar. You can do it if you have a roll bar on your mouse, but I, I, which I do, but I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to grab this and scroll bar and scroll down. Okay, and I'm going to go down to the bottom. Now, right now, I'm not touching anything. But I'm now going to touch the shift key. I now have the shift key held down on my keyboard. Now I'm going to touch right over in here. See how it's a cursor now? See where it's a cursor? And when I get over, it starts to become a hand. When it becomes a hand, that means it's going to jump off. So I want a cursor. If you stay over here with a cursor, get it over on this edge right there. I've got the shift key held down. When I touch this area, everything is now selected. Now, with everything selected, I would then copy this. So, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC, it's either going to be Command C or it's going to be Control C. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hit Command C. It's going to copy all of this that I've got highlighted. I'm now just going to come over to a plain, you know, Word editor. It's uh, it's not Word; it's just text edit. So this is just texting. I'm at the top of the page. I'm going to just scroll down a little bit just to give me some room. And then I'm going to paste, which with a Mac is Command V, and it'll be Control V on a PC. Bam! There's the songs. Everything here is what was just on the other page. If I hit Load More, we're at 5:25 a.m. If I hit Load More, now I start seeing more songs, and it'll go down to 4 a.m. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump way ahead. I'm going to go around to like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning on Friday morning because I'm doing this now on Saturday on Saturday morning at about 11 o'clock or whatever uh, what do we got here okay so now what I've have here on this you know on this playlist I have kiss FM from 3 10 a.m. on Friday morning all the way through around to roughly 11 a.m. on Saturday morning so there's a there's more than 24 hours here which is great to be able to get a feel for rotations. So again, I'm just, I'm not going to touch where the hand is. I'm only going to touch where the cursor is. I'm just going to touch right here for the moment. I just touch right there and I'm just going to highlight a little bit. I don't even need much. Then I'm going to take this, the scroll wheel or the cursor and I'm going to move it all the way to the top. Here we are, 1041 AM. And I'm going to again, hold down the shift key and touch up in this area now everything is highlighted let me just whip down here quickly see see what I'm saying now I'm gonna do command C which is copy control C on a PC I'm gonna come over here I'm just gonna get rid of all this stuff so let me just blow this out because it's only gonna duplicate because I've already got a lot of it so I'm gonna now go from your power all the way down to whatever was at the bottom that boom and there it is there's your power all the way down to Maroon 5 Beautiful Mistakes, what's at the bottom here, Maroon 5 Beautiful Mistakes. So let's just get rid of this. And now let's take a look at what we actually have. So again, there's more than 24 hours here. So uh, we're going from this roughly 3 a.m. on Friday morning. So it's before Seacrest gets on and the entire f totally normal Friday through the all night show all the way around to around 11 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning. So it's a pretty good chunk of the of uh, you know their programming in the day and you can get a chance at seeing the normal rotations so let's just start picking some stuff out and you know take a guess and say well okay what was probably a current song as opposed to maybe a recurrent song or for sure a gold song so I, let's just take a guess and for sure I mean at this point let's just say save your tears so I'm just gonna I can type this but I'm just gonna you know highlight it highlight it and copy it so save your tears and now on a Mac I'm gonna hit command F Again, control F probably. I'm not 100% sure with a PC though, but I believe it's a control F. Whatever find is, you want to say find. So 
on a Mac, it's going to be Command F. So I'm just going to now paste in Save Your Tears. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Save Your Tears. Okay, so what it's telling me now is for Save Your Tears, on this entire page, there are seven of them. Okay, so that's probably not a good thing. Good thing for what we're doing because with only seven in 24 hours, um, it's probably not in a fast rotation. So, but well, let's take a look. Okay, you get the idea of what I'm doing. So here's one at, uh, what do we got? 10.30, 10.30 on a Saturday morning. The one before that is essentially five o'clock. So you got five and a half hours. When's the next one? 8.30, 8.30 at night on Friday night. And what's the one in front of this? So we get 8.30, 3.30, five hours. In many ways, sometimes when you do this, you really can't count on the All Night Show numbers because the All Night Show is usually going to be a rehash on the systems, the computer systems. They grab a chunk of midday and afternoon drive and they'll just place it into the All Night Show so songs don't get wasted on the All Night Show in a rotation um, and they don't come up in, in the normal course of the day. That's something we'll cover later, but basically you can't really trust it. What you can only really trust is maybe from 5 a.m., till around midnight. That's typically going to be the normal rotations in some way. Let's take something that's a little bit more current, something that we think that they're powering powering along. So how about let's try now let's try uh, let's try Montero and see what that is. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to replace it up here and I'm going to put this in. This is what we're trying to find. I'm going to hit find and whoa, okay. There's 28 of these in a 24-hour period. Well, maybe probably a 26, 27 hour period. There's 28 Montero. This song is played 28 times. How can that be? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we're going to have to cut that in half. Didn't really play 28 times because the way this thing is logging it, it's, it's doing the album title too. So 28 becomes 14. You're going to have to cut that in half. So it's playing 14 times. But still, that's pretty cool because 14 times in maybe 28, 30 hours... This is a pretty fast rotation. So let's see how fast this is. It's going to give us an indication of, you know, how fast the songs are turning around in probably their fastest category. So what do we got? We got 10, 10. So let's just say 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., 5.30. Okay, so that's a five-hour stretch. Now it's quite possible the morning show just doesn't play this. It might be day parted out of the morning show. So we've just gone from 5.30 to 4, 4 o'clock, so that's an hour and a half. 2.37, that's an hour and a half. And now we're at night. Okay, but we're at night, but we're into a normal rotation. If you understand what I was saying before, I think you can really count on a normal rotation because you're not messing with the all-night show um, roughly from, let's just say, 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. till midnight. So 9.45. Now... An hour and a half in front of that is going to be 8.45 plus another half hour off. So it's going to be around 8.15, somewhere between 8 and 8.15. I have no idea what this is going to show, but let's see. 8.14, dead on the money. I would say this is on an hour and a half rotation, but it's going to be somewhere in that ballpark. So let's jump ahead again. So an hour and a half from this, one hour is going to be 7.14. Drop back another half hour in front of that. So it's going to be around, I don't know, 6.45, 7 o'clock, somewhere in that range, and 7 o'clock. So this is turning on roughly an hour and a half time frame. So the thing to do would then say, all right, here's one song that's on an hour and a half rotation. There's probably got to be other ones. And if you go searching for it and do the exact same thing as what I'm doing, you pick one out and start looking for it and see how many there actually are. You might get three, you might get five, you might get seven, and then you get an idea of what's the fastest rotation, an hour and a half in this instance, obviously, and how many are there? Let me show you a different way of sorting this out. It's definitely a pain in the butt to do, and there's a lot of grunt work sort of to do it, but it, at the same time, it's very easy to do. It's just tedious work. So let's just start little by little. You know, I got two things here. I got a, just a plain old text, you know, file, nothing in it. And, and then I got the songs um, that, that were played in this roughly 30-hour period, okay? And it doesn't really matter. Just as long as you're kind of at a 24-hour period, this will give you a pretty good indication of the size of the categories. Okay, so let's just start here. Let's start with the top and just go... Your power will just copy this, put it into what we're searching for. How many are there? There's 10. Okay, but there's 
your power twice so there's the title and then there's the album so let's cut this in half and then there's five all right so let's just go down the page over here and just stick it in somewhere obviously this is not going to be a power song so your power and we'll put a five next to it okay next one what's the next one 34 35 take it up here put it in what do we got up here we have seven of them okay all right your power seven let's go to levitating okay 17 so levitate that's clearly going to be an a song so what do we got here 17 so i'm just essentially just going through song by song and putting the numbers how many times did this thing roughly play you know in a 24 to 30 30 hour period okay save your tears what do we got on this one 30 save your tears seven and let's just go for lose, lose yourself this is clearly going to be one because it's not a current song but let's just do it anyway and there's the one okay deja vu let's go to deja vu deja vu comes up as six but there's two of them because the album is also called that so i would say what did I just say? Six? Okay, now it's half of that is three. I would say this is probably going to be like a C category, but I'm not sure. Let's we'll, we'll keep going and see what it ends up at the end. We got uh, telepathia and telepathia in, whoa, 16. Is that 16 or 18? Small lettering. 18. All right, well, 18 looks pretty close to 17 up there. See what's going on here little by little? Montero. I don't need the whole title. 28, but there's two of them. So half of 28 is 14. Montero, 14. And I went through pretty much the whole day. So when you look at this, what seems to be a little out of place here? To me, this seems like this might be out of place. And we'll, I'm going so to push this up here just for the time being and do the count and see what we have and let me just squash that up and anything out of the realm in here maybe this one let's just push this up here and see what we got okay and when i say see what we got what i mean is count them up so up here we have one two three four five six seven songs that seems reasonable five or a seven would usually seem reasonable we should normally see odd numbers in a category um, because there's an even number of hours there's 24 hours in a day so you don't you really want to have six in a category because it divides evenly and it may end up coming up in the same hour day after day after day so you usually want odd and even um, in, in those different sections the amount of hours versus the amount of songs now here how many we have in the bees two four six eight hmm okay so one of these may not fit here. They may not actually belong here. Looking at the C's, we've got two, four, six, eight, nine. But the brunt of these are in th two, threes, or four plays. So you could make an argument that, you could make an argument of this. I'll do it both ways. And I'm, there's no way for me to actually know. You can make an argument that this B category is actually this two, four, six, seven, eight, nine songs. And this category is two, four, six, seven. This seems pretty good. So it might actually be seven songs. If I had to ballpark it, I'd say this is probably roughly what they have. And this is sort of the categories. I give or take some other couple songs that, you know, maybe just didn't play on this day, or they're coming around super slow, or they're day parted where um, maybe they happen to fall into a shift that they're not supposed to play in and that pushed them to the next day, something along those lines. And you can then base your starting point, not your end point necessarily, but your starting point of building your radio station or adjusting your radio station. If you had a CHR, a top 40, and you wanted to be like Kiss, somewhere like in this ballpark, because this appears to be pretty much kind of what it is. Now I want to switch gears just a little bit to uh, an article that was written by Sean Ross. If you don't know who Sean Ross is, I've known Sean for, oh man, probably 40 years now, easily, I would say. I first met him as a kid. He was a, a young kid. I was just sort of a young jock at CKLW, and he was super into music. And he came down to visit me once at the station. You know, you do the usual showing around the station. You talk a little bit, and we've stayed in touch. Sean, to me, is... 
um, I don't know what would be the word, a musicologist. He's like in a music encyclopedia. I don't know any human being on the planet that if you say any type of format whatsoever and start naming songs, he can give you nuance to the 9,000th degree about every single song in every single format. You know, these are the novelty songs. These were the big hits. These are the ones that were there and then they disappeared quick. I mean, it's unbelievable, um, you know, how much of his life that he spent in music and he still does it to this day. And he, you know, and he works in the music sector. He works in a research company. He programs some stations. He does a lot of different stuff. But one of the things that he also does is does a blog. And that's what we're going to talk about. This article by Ross caught my eye and it was September 30th of 2020. That's when he did this particular blog, as you can see right here. And it was, what is the sweet spot for CHR power rotations? And I really think you should read this if you're a PD, whether you've been doing it a long time or you've, you know, you're just starting out or you're about to become a PD. This was a really important article to as for you to understand what's going on and for you to think because I, I think it's a think piece more than anything although there's some hard data in here which is you know irrefutable because he did a lot of stations and he did a ton of research on this and this is his research it, it's not mine um, but it's wonderful research so his basic premise for this particular article was he had a question in his mind and the question he kind of lays it out in this paragraph which is I've, I've long sensed there was a difference between listener complaints about CHR stations, top 40s playing their hits 70 times a week in the mid-90s. So let me just slow down on that part. CHRs in the 90s were playing the, their hits, their fastest rotations 70 times a week. A decade ago, it became 90 times a week. And now it's 120 times or more a week. And we saw that when I was going through the media base, okay? Perhaps there's a tipping point where we're basically spinning songs too fast. Now, an interesting thing, a side note that I'm going to just go into this, and I, I, I'm, I'm going to do it in another lesson because I really want to do for you a lesson of contrarian thinking. It's, this is what everybody says. Here's a different way of thinking about it. You might want to go the opposite direction or at least temper what they say into, you know, come up with a decision on your own. One of the things that Ross is going to get at here, and it's one of those things that I notice all the time when I go looking through ratings, if you look at the ratings for New York, Chicago, LA, Detroit, pick any big city, just throw a big city out there, and you look and you say, these are the stations that are playing some sort of current music. The ones that have slower rotations, the urban ACs, the AC radio stations, the classic rocks, the classic hit stations, full-on rock radio stations, you know, mainstream rock radio stations, they have slower rotations than a CHR. They almost always comprise the top five radio stations, you know, and then the CHRs are somewhere down below. Not always, but most of the time. And usually if you look at, hard uh, at them, if there's a CHR high up into the top five ratings, usually it has a heritage morning show that, you know, with, with a star. You know, it might be Kiss in Boston with Maddie in the Morning. It's obviously Seacrest, uh, you know, in L.A. Um, you know, he's been there forever. Although even, even Kiss is number eight in the market. They're not in the top five. So it was a really good question for Ross to ask and to lay out some actual hard numbers for that. So he went through 78, see it's 78 CHRs in PPM markets and measured them against basically pushing their ratings and spin counts and putting them together and go, what causes what? And this is what he found. So I'm going to jump down here and because this is the heavy duty part, this part right here. Okay. Again, there's going to be links for this below. If you look at the amount of spins, here's the, the top spins on the power. So 130 times or more, they're playing their main songs. They have stations got a three share. That was the average share of 13 different radio stations. Drop that down 10. Now we're down to 120 spins to 129. Average share, three and a half. Oh, you went up a half a point. Nice. 30 radio stations are in this range. Or to put it a different way, 43 radio stations are 120 or higher. Drop it down 10 more spins. Now we're down to 110 to 119. Now we're at a 3.8 share. 21 radio stations. Drop again, 100 to 109. 4.1 share. Nine radio stations. And if you take these five radio stations who are really going their own way, unfortunately, I don't know what markets they are, 
but um, you know if they're in a major market this is awesome they're averaging a 5.5 share but they're under 100 spins so they're 30 spins less than this one which is a significant amount and then he kind of reversed th this whole way of looking at it and this is what it came out to you got a five share over you're somewhere in the 112 spin range and there's 11 stations if you got a little bit less share 4049 you got more spins 117 or more and there's 18 stations 3 to a 3 9 120 2 share to a 2 9 123 times spins which is a lot and then if you're over 126 spins 9 stations their average share is 2 or under which is awful unless you're in a market that has a ton of radio stations like say you're a CHR you're in, you're in LA and there's I don't know 60 70 80 radio signals coming in there well then a 2 point not a 2 share you know is it's not great but it's not the end of the world but if you're in some other market where let's say you're in Detroit or you are in Cleveland and you have a two share in your CHR you might as well turn the lights out you can call out a day and change format and as I mentioned to you you can go on all access that website allaccess.com you know if you're a member and I would again say be a member and you can look at the ratings from market after market after market if you just look at the top five top six radio stations you almost always see current based radio stations no stations that play some amount of current music and they're at the top they're not down at the bottom they're up at the top they they crush everybody else and as as ross puts out here the 98 stations he looked at included eight chrs but the most represented stations were country 20 country stations 19 acs 16 rmbs and nine hot acs the average rating for those stations was a 6.6 .6. The average top spins were 55. Great data. There you go. Hope that helps. That's the starting points for most music formatted radio stations, you know, in this day and age. Uh, those are pretty much the majors. And a special uh, thanks to Sean Ross for his article because uh, his research was really great in that you could actually see what you sort of felt. At least, I, you know, I kind of thought that, man, these things are kind of turning pretty fast. And, um, you know, when you actually go through the numbers, you can see that it, you know for most situations not all because every station is different every market is different and every situation is different but for most stations probably slower rotations are the better way to go one last note that i didn't bring up about uh, sean's article and again there's a link below for sean's article i think it'd be really good for you to read it two or three times he pointed out that he tracked three of the major london as in england radio stations like Capital and the others. I'm assuming it's Capital in there because that's a giant radio station in, the, in London, England. Superb radio station. And the fastest that they turn their songs, fastest rotations, 81. 81. I mean, that's pretty slow in this day and age. Anyway, until our next lesson, I hope you subscribe. I hope you uh, hit that ring button and so you get notification and all that usual good stuff. Until our next lesson. All right, have a good time. See ya.